Uh, it's, um, I guess to me, it's, it's uh, uh, everybody coming together uh, for a good cause. You know, it brings the school together like nothing else that we do um, in terms of uh, the amount of people that in, are involved and, and how involved they get. It brings the whole community together, people that are, you know, students that are here now, the faculty and staff, the administration and, uh, and the alums. It's for such a great cause. It's great to tell people that in 1980-ish, you know, someone with cystic fibrosis might only live to they were about 17, and now they live to their 35. So it's a very tangible sense that it makes a big difference. And it's one of the most proud things to me about Ocon, uh, the fact that we have the largest single-day high school fundraiser in the country, that we do so much for this cause, that it's completely organized by students, uh, is something that I brag about most about Ocon. The Super Dance is special, you know, because it's the school comes together for a good cause. Great cause. We have the connection with the O'Donnell family. Right? I love the school, and this is one of the greatest things about the school. So there's just that, you know, that synergy. Being able to attend my own super dance was like the highlight of my young adolescent life, and just being a part of something that had been built up for years and years. Um, it's got to be Piano Man, you know, everybody in the circle doing this. Freshman year, seeing it for the first time, um, seeing all the bands, um, just the whole spectacle of the event. Well, my favorite Superdance memory, uh, my freshman year, my buddy and I were chosen to do an act for Superdance, and the act was to uh, have sock and bopper boxing. And so we both went out and got sock and boppers and uh, did our act in front of the entire school, but within the first three punches, we had both popped the sock and boppers on each other's faces. I broke his nose and he gave me a black eye. And uh, that was my freshman year super dance. <laughs> I'm sure that, that uh, there were embarrassing moments. I, for some reason right now, I just can't fight for life. What are the odds? I was forever falling down the stairs. You know how the stairs, some of, some of the stairs, that they stick out a little bit? And, and I'd forever, you get your foot kind of caught under the stair and, and you get it on your face. I actually, I did that in front of Sister Mo like a week ago. <laughs> just ate it. And Sister Mo is just looking down at me like, some things never change.